Hi guys! This is gonna be a fun video. I'm excited because you're gonna experience what it's like to be a first year medical student. What? Yeah, I promise you'll learn a lot. I'm going to show you our actual lectures, our quizzes and exams. We're gonna open my textbooks. Yeah. <laughs> and I just feel like you guys have to know what you're getting yourselves into. Hmm? Everyone keeps on saying that med school is so hard, but you don't really know why. I'm gonna show you why. Oh yeah, oh kita kita oh that's my Yay. I'm gonna show you. Thank you guys for subscribing. I've had this for a while, but I haven't thanked you guys yet. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, Lulz. Well, if you guys are new here, my name is Aura. Oh. And this is my room. This is my usual setup. And that's the usual noise. The ongoing construction and noise pollution. Please bear with me. Anyway, I am a doctor. And I make these weekly videos for aspiring medical students in the Philippines. So hopefully, a lot of you guys will be able to relate to this. And you'll learn something new. So let's get started. Tana. I have my laptop here. Chidang. This is my study area. By the way, I already filmed another video like this, but it was so boring <laughs> because I just talked and talked and at one point I opened my books and notes and I ended up studying <laughs> Charot. But I will still do that later, but we can start with that because we're all gonna fall asleep. Hmm? So I'm going to use something more high-tech instead. We're going to log on to my Lecturio account. I feel like we've all seen ads of Lecturio online, right? And you've probably wondered what's inside, what's that for? But you never bothered to check. So here it is, that's what we're gonna do today. Because I now have a premium account, which I got to help me study for USMLE. And I honestly wish I had this in med school. Basically, okay, let's log in. This is my account. This is what's inside Lectorio Premium. And it's an e-learning platform for online video-based medical education. So it's like an online med school. And it was founded in Germany in 2008 and it's now used worldwide. I researched it. There are video lectures for every topic and I was surprised they also covered pre-med subjects like physics, org chem, even nursing. And also there are integrated quizzes after the lectures which will automatically repeat a few days later. And also there's a question bank so that you can test yourself and you can learn why you were right or you were wrong. I'm gonna show you more about that later for now. First things first, what are the subjects in first year med? What do we actually study? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna use Lecturia for because I don't wanna just talk and talk. I'm gonna show you our actual curriculum. So I'm a medical student. This is also good for pre-meds and nursing. We're gonna select preclinical because first and second year med are preclinical. So these are our subjects. Anatomy is number one, gross anatomy. Anatomy is the study of the body parts, the structure. When you say gross anatomy, it's the parts that are visible to the naked eye, so like naked, gross. And then also, part of anatomy is histology. Histology is the microscopic anatomy. So we use the microscopes to view slides and see these structures up to the cellular, even the subcellular level. And here, it's another major subject, physiology. Physiology deals with the normal function and mechanism of all the body parts. So, we study the specific characteristics and mechanisms of the human body that make it a living being. So, that's the fisho. We call it fisho. Now, we go to biochem. Biochemistry. Biochem, well, according to our textbook, it's the science of the chemical basis of life. All the chemistry inside living cells, that's biochem. And all the reactions and processes they undergo, that's biochem. This is where we study cell bio, molecular bio, genetics, nutrition, metabolism, even lab techniques, all under biochem. All the diseases have a biochemical basis, all the drugs have a biochemical basis, even the technology, the future of medicine is biochemically related. I'm eating. In first year, we also study biostatistics and epidemiology. So this is where evidence-based medicine is important. 
statistics by a stat. So to those of you who are asking if there's math in med school, there's definitely math in med school. Just not the calculus or not much of algebra, but more of the practical math. Like by a stat. Microbiology, pathology, and pharmacology are all second year subjects. So just wait for my next video. I'm gonna be talking about second year subjects too. So that's it for the first year subjects. Okay, now let's look at what's inside these subjects. Let's look at the lectures. Let's listen. Why? Who said this is a good idea? <laughs> anyway, it's important for you guys to see this. We're gonna start with my favorite subject. Maybe, maybe the tooth. Do you guys want to learn about teeth? Let's now look at the tooth. Even if you're not a dentist, you have to learn about the On the left hand side is a diagram of a tooth sitting in its socket in alveolar bone. And various parts of the tooth are labeled. Okay, Bash, I'm going to go to the Times 2 Latin and playback speed. Okay, let's listen. You can actually see projecting from the gingival surface or the gingiva, that piece of oral mucosa that covers the, the bone housing the tooth. The anatomical crown is all of the enamel, part of which is actually embedded just below the gingiva. Oh my god. Okay, there's a quiz. <laughs> like I said, there are quizzes after each video lecture, so it just makes sure that you actually listen or it checks if you really learn something, which is needed, which is helpful. And it also grabs your attention, right? So let's try to answer. Which one of the following is incorrect? I did not listen. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh! I'm going to Because I'm not going to read Oh my god, wait. Okay, so I did not even read it. But the point is, there are quizzes after. Okay. Tamang hula ang tawag dyan. My dentist dad will not be proud. For anatomy, it's basically what you see is what you get. If you listen to the lecture, if you read the notes, if you paid attention, it's really just memorization. So in a way, that makes medicine easy because it doesn't take much to understand. Especially anatomy. It's just that you have to memorize a lot. A lot. So that's where the problem lies. That's what makes it difficult. But sometimes though, it's kind of hard because it will really require your focus. And that's particularly true for what subject? Fisio. Physiology for sure. Uh, see all that? <gasps> there it is. Action potential. <laughs> so for me, this is an example of one of the harder topics in medicine. The next thing that happens is a potassium current. Potassium then comes out of the cell because the gradient is from within the cell to out of the cell. So potassium channels open and then deactivate. When linking the action potential to its associated channel, there are really only two types of channels we need to consider. The first is the voltage-gated sodium channel, which is the primary 7-4 depolarization. It starts to deactivate during rebirth. I'm gonna stop right now. <laughs> so, did you hear? Terms like sodium, potential, those are all very basic, basic sciences. That's why it's important to have a good foundation. So that's fisho. And for me, biochem is sometimes just pure memorization, just like anatomy. But sometimes it's also, what is that? So it's a mix of both, making it the hardest subject, personally. So that's what we study in med school. So now let's look at what we get tested on. Well, I showed you one of the quizzes. Now let's look at one sample exam. Oh my gosh, kinakabar ko ang haba. Okay, uh, okay guys, this is not a very good example of our exams in the Philippines because in my experience, at least in my med school, it's not this detailed, supplemented in this patient's diet. Okay, this is biochem. Light skin tone, musty body odor, these are buzzwords. And this is for phenylketonuria for sure. Phenylalanine, so tyrosine. Not sure. I, I forgot. Ay, tama! I'm so happy because it's biochem. Char. Anyway, for the textbooks, it's time to show you my textbooks. This is my shelf. My first year books were mostly second hand. But when I got my scholarship for second year, I used my money to buy my second year books. Na, ang bait. So this is my Fisha textbook. 
and this has always been my book stand which I still love up to this day and I remember many moments of my life when I would open my textbook like that oh my gosh okay so this is what's inside our textbooks very very text heavy and those were not my highlights again this is a second hand book I don't usually highlight Anyway, I took out my textbook to show you another cool feature of the Lecturio app. It has a service called Bookmatcher. What it does is, for example, there's something that I just don't understand in my textbooks. I can just take a picture of that page and it will automatically look for the corresponding video that will explain that concept. So it's scanning the text and analyzing and finding the related lectures. Let's see... There you go. These are all the videos that you can watch to help explain that specific topic. It will go directly to the video. And I think that's pretty cool. Love it. So those are different types of helper T cells. What about the regulatory T cells? Okay. Well, these suppress Later. immune response. Anyway, unfortunately, guys, Lecturio is not free. So if you guys want to try it, there are free demo videos online. You can check those first. And then you can sign up and you can explore the whole site for 24 hours for free. And after that, if you decide that it's for you, that you want it, that you are willing to pay for it, then you can use my discount code and the link below for a 20% off. Max. Okay, so thanks for staying for this long. I still have a very important message for all the first year med students. Well, actually all med students or future doctors. I'm gonna take this time to really talk to you guys because I want you to understand the importance of what you're studying. Why you have to memorize all this, why you have to read all that, why you're being tested on all these seemingly little details that are not important. They are important. Chagaan niya yan. Why? Because this is the foundation of medicine that you're studying. You don't have to memorize it. Eventually, you will forget it. Especially after the boards, you will probably not come across those terms again. But your understanding and your appreciation of the science is important. It has to stay. It will stay. And don't forget that anyone can just Google anything healthcare related online and they will think they have the answer. So what sets you apart as a doctor? Why are you still needed? What's your role if it's all online, right? Do your part right now. Work hard because this is what will set you apart from other healthcare professionals. This is what will make you the leader of the healthcare team. Do you understand? You have to put things into perspective. Why you're doing all this is because you're working to become a good doctor. And a good doctor has to have a basic understanding of everything, of medicine down to its anatomic, physiologic, and biochemical level. Yeah. <laughs> Toxic ko, pero gets. Again, it's your knowledge and your understanding, okay? It's what you can use to advocate for your patients, to help them in the future. And it's hard work, but you will get there. At first, it's like all alien to you, but eventually, it will be stock knowledge. Promise. I feel like all med students, especially first years, should be reminded. And all aspiring doctors should be warned that this is what you're gonna face on your first year of med and it's just the start of the long journey. Med school is so crazy difficult but it is doable, it is manageable. Others before you have done it, so can you. You just have to fully commit to it. You just have to want it. That's it for this video. I'll be making another one for second year and third year subjects because I have a different message for you too. Well, very, very, ano siya dito? Pastor. Pero, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!